Greetings. This is the honey badger himself, Reverend Bob Lico, and I'm waiting for my lunch to come out of the oven right now. I've got a nice feta quiche in there, and I'm looking forward to it. But while I was waiting, I went on to Facebook to let's check the Facebook page and see any input. And yes, I did have some input from the uh, I guess most recent video that I put up on the fact that infant baptism does not save the infant, never has and never will. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ and faith in him saves. The way they say baptism now saves you is a misstatement and a false doctrine, the way they mean it to mean. This is all I have to say. I say this in less than three minutes. Deal with the content, my Lutheran critics, and not me. It gets so tiresome, and it's really kind of humorous because it proves what I've said in these uh, presentations on YouTube to be true. One, that Lutheran pastors and Lutheran congregants in general are dishonest when it comes to discussing doctrine. As we see in any of the comments on the presentations I made, none of them deal with the text. All of the comments are pointed towards me as an individual. Things such as, well, he must be hurt. I'm going to say that, that he's hurt. And guys, uh, I'm not hurt. My wife isn't hurt. We're doing great. Thank you. We're delivered from error, as God has done faithfully in our lives. Uh, together as a husband and wife now for almost 40 years, he's continually brought us out of organizations and sects, S-E-C-T-S, like Lutheranism, that have false doctrine and false practice and will not change. See, again, don't deal with me. I'm not the problem. You are the problem. <laughs> Your false doctrine and false practice in the way you abuse the Holy Scripture and twist the text, that's the problem. I love the comments. Uh, I've, I've had more views on the No Grace For You video than others so far. And again, it's all personal, ad hominem comments and attack. Nobody wants to deal with the doctrine and practice of the Missouri Synod Lutheran Church and how it is anti-biblical. It's against scripture. It's not scriptural. It's against scripture. Argue that with me. Argue, if you can, the fact that there are no infants shown being baptized in the entire Bible. Show me one clear and concrete example of an infant ever receiving immersion by water. And I'll even punt a little and let you do a sprinkling. Where? There is not one contextual passage. In fact, every passage on baptism is a human response to the gospel. An act of the human will. Will you be baptized? What must I do to be saved? Those are responses. Faith comes by hearing. The word is preached. The spirit convicts. A response is drawn forth. This does not happen with infants. They are not responding to the gospel. Their parents and grandparents bring them. They did not bring themselves. They did not personally respond. They did not believe. Deal with that. Deal with the fact that church history deals shows us that for over 200 years, the early church did not practice infant baptism. That came in well after Generations of Christians had been born and died. Unbaptized children, lots of them, all in heaven, guys. The children are holy, just like Paul said. Deal with the text. If you want to just continue to throw stones at me, go ahead. I, my uh, adversaries are not flesh and blood. It's the spirits behind flesh and blood. And I know you well.